going on everybody out there i just want to tell people be careful with these bitcoin etfs because wall street is a bunch of scumbags i'm telling you back when back, uh, but back when wall street didn't have their grubby little hands on it that's when you stood the best chance of proving your point of being decentralized and being deregulated now Wall Street's got their grubby little hands on it. What Wall Street is going to do, they're going to leverage the hell out of it. They're going to do derivatives. And in my opinion, these ETFs, they're lying. They're lying to people about how much they're buying. You don't know how much they're buying. They could say anything. Remember something. There's no financial background behind this. They don't have to have earnings calls. They don't have to have you know anything behind it because bitcoin is based on what the next person is going to pay for it now i know people are gonna come at me in the comment section you're stupid you're an idiot have fun staying poor you're never gonna get rich you know what to each his own but every couple years wall street screws the hell out of the working people and they keep doing it it's like we have a short-term memory they did it during the dot com they got everybody to buy it and then all these dot-com companies went out and a lot of these hedge funds got rich. They did it with the CDOs. They did it during the 2021, 2022 IPOs. They did it with the EVs. And it's like every couple years, there's something new. Once Wall Street gets a hold of it, it's done. Wall Street and the banks are involved. Didn't you want Bitcoin to be away from the banks? Wasn't Bitcoin started? Now, here's where people will not, here's where people will not stay on topic. Didn't you want cryptocurrency to be different from banks? Wasn't the whole point of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies to be decentralized and deregulated so banks can't print more money and fiat currencies and stuff like that? Well, now that now that the banks and the ETFs now that they got a hold of it, it's the same thing all over again, okay? They're just gonna leverage the hell out of it. It may it may be around for the next five years, 10 years, 15 years, but you mark my words, this is gonna end badly for a lot of people. Me, in particular, I'm not a gambling man, but if I am gonna gamble, here's what I'm gonna do. And I can't even believe I did this, but every now and then, you know, I like to throw a little money into some lottery. I'll buy a scratch off. It's just me, okay? If I win, I win. If I lose, $10 is not gonna hurt me. But if I win, I know I'm gonna get something that I can use that's accepted, cash. Am I gonna have to pay taxes? Yes. But at the end of the day, people are putting their hard earned money into something that you don't even know if it's there. That's all I'm saying. We really don't know. We don't know if it's there. Okay, Wall Street, we keep saying Wall Street is scumbags, right? We keep saying banks are scumbags, right? We keep saying that the government is scumbags, right? Well, why do you keep trying to do business with them? Okay, like why do you keep involving them in something that could have been great? I actually, I got the whole Bitcoin concept. Okay, you know, it's decentralized. It's away from the banks. They can't, you know, they can't do derivatives. They can't print more of it. Well, now you let them in and all they got to do is just lie to you and tell you, yeah, we bought $780 million in Bitcoin. How do you know they did? Yeah, we bought $2 billion of Bitcoin. How do you know they did? How do you know? In my opinion, if you're going to own Bitcoin, I would just, I would just own it on its own. I wouldn't even own it in an ETF because there's a very good chance you're gonna get screwed. And there's a fire engine, wow. Shout out to all the uh, emergency workers out there. But, yo, know, listen, at the end of the day, all right, I'm about to get gully, hold on. Whoa, here we go. Now, hey, man. At the end of the day, you just wanna be careful. Just be careful. Remember I warned you, remember I said something. In the future, if something happens, I'm just trying to help people out. No regrets, get it.